mass and weight mass mass is the amount of matter present in the object the si unit of mass is kilogram it is a scalar quantity the mass of the object remains constant everywhere as per newton's first law mass is the measure of an inertia of the object higher is the mass of the object the higher its inertia weight the weight of an object is defined as the force with which the earth attracts the object according to newton's law of gravitation the gravitational force f acting on the object of mass small m is equal to universal gravitational constant capital g into mass of the earth capital m into mass of the object small m upon radius of the earth capital r square this is equation 1 here capital g into capital m upon capital r square is equal to acceleration due to gravity small g substituting this value in equation 1 we get f is equal to small m into small g this gravitational force is nothing but the weight therefore w is equal to mg this means that the weight of object having mass small m is mg since weight is the gravitational force acting on the object the si unit of weight is newton also the weight being a force is a vector quantity and its direction is towards the center of the earth as we move above the surface of the earth the value of acceleration due to gravity g decreases and so the weight of an object also decreases as the value of g is not same everywhere the weight of an object changes from place to place though its mass is constant everywhere in daily life we use weight for both mass and weight and measure the weight in kilograms which is the unit of mass but in science when we say that rajiv's weight is 75 kilograms we mean rajiv's mass the gravitational force acting on the mass of 75 kilograms is the weight of rajiv as rajiv's mass is 75 kilograms his weight on the earth is f is equal to mass m into acceleration due to gravity g which is equal to 75 into 9.8 which is equal to 735 newtons the weight of mass 1 kg is equal to 1 into 9.8 which is equal to 9.8 newtons our weighing machines tell us the mass of objects the two scale balances in shops compare two weights that is two masses now it's time for a question answer session Suppose you are standing on a tall ladder. If your distance from the center of the earth is 2r, then what will be your weight? Come, let us find this out. Suppose your weight on the surface of the earth is w newton and your weight while standing on the ladder is w1 newton. Here, w is equal to small m into small g. substituting the value of g in the above equation w is equal to capital g into capital m into small m upon capital r square similarly w1 is equal to small m into small g substituting the value of small g in the above equation w1 is equal to capital g into capital m into small m upon 2r bracket square therefore w1 is equal to 1 upon 4 into capital g into capital m into small m upon capital r square therefore w1 is equal to 1 upon 4 into w this means that your weight when you are standing on a ladder is 1/4 of your weight on the surface of the earth 
Do you know? Gravitational waves. You must have surely observed that when a stone is dropped into water, waves are created on the surface of water. Similarly, when both the ends of a string are held in the hand and it is shaken, then waves are generated on the string. Light is also a type of wave called the electromagnetic wave. Gamma rays, X rays, ultraviolet rays, infrared rays, microwave and radio waves are also different types of electromagnetic waves. Astronomical objects emit these waves. These waves are received by our instruments. All our knowledge about the universe has been obtained through these waves. Gravitational waves are a very different type of waves. They have been called the waves on the fabric of space-time. The existence of these waves was predicted by Einstein in 1916. These waves are very weak and thus it is very difficult to detect them. Scientists have constructed extremely sensitive instruments to detect the gravitational waves emitted by astronomical sources. Among these instruments, LIGO is the prominent one. LIGO stands for Laser Interferometric Gravitational Wave Observatory. After 100 years of Einstein's prediction, scientists detected these waves coming from an astronomical source. Indian scientists have contributed significantly in this discovery. This discovery has opened a new path to obtain information about the universe. Come, let us now solve some numerical examples based on this topic.